Hi everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick Seasonal Decor, and you are watching me live on Bodabra. Is the camera okay now, Al? Yeah. Awesome. So we were having a little bit of technical uh, difficulties. I know the Bodabra team is trying out a few different things, uh, and it just caused a little bit of a stir. So hopefully you guys can see me and hear me okay. So as you come in, just know that I am live here on this page each and every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first share the video so that we can bring our followers on. And we're going to be using both our large Bodabra as well as our mini Bodabra. So both tools are great. It just depends on what kind of projects you're working on. So being a wreath maker and floral designer, I prefer the large Bodabra. Very rarely do I have the need to make super duper tiny bows, but... The mini Bodabra is great for smaller bows, but we have created some really large bows on this as well. Well, relatively large, right? So this thing can be kind of surprising with how big you can create it. So tonight I'm going to try that again, try to see how many loops we can put in this. That way we can see, you know, how big of a bow we actually can make. Okay, so I'm just taking a second to post the video. How is everybody doing today? Hey, Pam. Hey, Nita and Betty. I don't believe Alex is able to see comments. Uh, the way this is is that it's kind of it's a, a new feature and it's not working a hundred percent right so I'm gonna have Alex be able to read the comments for you guys sorry guys I don't want to touch the screen I don't want the camera to flip on me by accident <laughs> I get nervous so I'm gonna start with the length of wire this is the Bodabra wire comes on a hundred yard spool and you can order all of these products not from nickseasonaldecor.com we currently do not have them hopefully in the near future we'll be able to carry these but you can order them through our affiliate link down below so we're using the gold wire today you good yeah. awesome now the comments are popping up hey Christy hey Marianne all right so we're gonna take those wires I'm just folding them uh, them in half and I'm gonna place them in the slit on top so you see on the top of this you have that little line that's where we're gonna place our wire Hey, Nancy from North Carolina. Yes, Bodabra is giving away a free roll of ribbon tonight. So all you have to do is just let us know that you'd like to win. So we're going to start. The, all of the ribbons we're going to use tonight are available from Sam's Club. So how many of you guys have used Sam's Club ribbons in the past? We're going to be using a two and a half inch version. And for today, for this ribbon, we're going to use or try two different techniques using it. I always like to show you guys what bows look like with different techniques. So I'm going to start with a really long set of tails. Beth wants to win. Christy would love to win free ribbon. Sorry, I lost the comments again. All right, that's fine. We can keep up. Hi, Barbara from San Antonio. But hi, everyone. <laughs> so Barb's from San Antonio. And the fun th thing about that is Alex actually said that our number one city in the United States that we ship to is San Antonio, it which is, is really cool. So we're a big Texas family here. Even though I was born and raised in Massachusetts, I feel at home in Southern states. Right, Al? Mm -hmm. We're definitely Southerners at heart. We love it. So this technique is going to be a traditional bow style. We're going to do it really large. So the loops are about four and a half, five inches, maybe a little bit more. And I like to rotate my Bodabra as I'm working in my ribbons. And I also like to drop my roll to the ground. It makes it easier. Hey, Karen, I see over 230 of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, if you enjoy seeing me on Bodabra and would like to continue seeing me on Bodabra, let me know down below. I enjoy doing these videos so much. We do teach how to make bows by hand, but I know a lot of you guys, A, aren't comfortable with it, and B, uh, you have issues with your hands where you're not able to hold your ribbon. So as a designer and as an educator, I really enjoy being able to show you guys different options and different techniques. So we're going to add... Like I said, I want this bow to be full. So we're going to do about five to six loops on either side. Oops. Sorry, Siri. So five to six loops on either side should give us the size that I want or the fullness. Hey, Rosemary. Nice to see you. All right. So that's four loops. Coming back in with another. That's five on this side. Let's do one more on the other side just to really create that wow factor. Any more than that? You know, it's just going to create a slightly more full bow. So this is a good stopping point, five or six on either side. And notice that I don't measure my loops. I am not the type to do that. I don't think it's necessary. And I see over 300 of you guys already in the first two minutes. So thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to take those wires, pull them to the middle, and tie from behind. So take them, 
twist them nice and tight and tie from the back. Create two or three knots to make sure it's not going anywhere. As you saw, I did curl those tails up only because they were in my way. <laughs> That's the only reason, uh, but they do look pretty curled up too. What do you guys think? You like tails curled a little bit? This isn't a super tight curl like we typically do, and sometimes it's a nice change. So I'll pull those loops from either side, fluff out our bow at the same time. And as I've said before, I think the main struggle a lot of you guys face with designing bows and creating bows is the lack of confidence. Attempt it. Worst case scenario, you have to take it apart and retry, but eventually it'll click. And look at how simple and pretty that turned out. A little bit more fluffing needed, and that is okay. We always like to do that afterwards, so we're not taking up too much time fluffing, but fluffing is the most important step. You might have heard me say in the past, you can be working with inexpensive ribbon like this or ribbon that costs 50, 60, 70 dollars a roll. And if you don't know how to fluff, I can tell, and there's a big difference. So you have to fluff, uh, and it doesn't matter what kind of ribbon you use because you can turn cheap ribbon into designer quality just by knowing how to open those loops. So all I do is pull them apart. I do things a little bit different where I don't like my loops to be too poofy, but Alex, when she's <laughs> fluffing the bows, you'll see her go like that, which is totally fine. It's just a preference-based thing. So that is that. That is one of those, uh, one of the techniques I'm gonna show you guys using the same ribbon. Now we're gonna come back in with another length of our wire, snip it off, place your wire in between, in this bow, can you guess what it's going to be, Al? A traditional bow. We just did oh, a, a traditional funky bow. bow. <laughs> Sorry, funky bow. <laughs> funky bow it is. So to do a funky bow, I like to do it outside of the Bodabra. And all you're going to have to do is just create your loop and your tails however long you want. So all I've done again is just take it and pinch it. And then you can snip. Another option, which I'll show you guys right now, take that ribbon, place it into your Bodabra. Hey, Judy, nice to see you. Is to take your tails, work them into your Bodabra, and then create your loop. And then you can cut it off. So it really just depends on what you're trying to go for. So again, another loop. And you can do as many or as few as you would like. If you do less, Alex, what happens? Just less full. Just less full. Is that a bad thing? No. Nope. nope, it's not. So it depends on what you're looking you know, for. If you're doing a spring and summer wreath like this ribbon is for, I would recommend less loops, but it doesn't mean you have to do less. I've seen plenty of designers do super full bows for this time of year. It just depends. So let's do one more loop, and then we'll tie it off, and then we can secure... Well, to tie it off, you got to secure your wire, right? And then we can fluff and dovetail and turn it into something pretty. Notice all the tails are different lengths. I do not care, and it's going to just add to the beauty. So to take your wires out, take your wires on either side. doesn't matter which side it's on. Just pull them together. Take the wires, pull them through, hold your bow down, and now it's partially secured. So now it has a slip knot, which is not going to secure it forever, so then I take those wires, and at the same time that I'm pulling, I'll flip my bow over and tie from behind. Over 340 of you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Who enjoys watching us here on Bodabra? Now we'll take those tails and dovetail. So to dovetail, we're going to take them, fold them in half, and cut from the middle out towards the wired edge at an angle. And look what that does. I know lots of you guys are like, Nick, we know how to dovetail, <laughs> but lots of you guys may not. And that's what I'm here for is to teach everybody, regardless of what kind of level you're at, because we always can learn something from somebody. So we'll do that real quick to the rest of them. All of these tails are different lengths, and that's just going to add to the beauty. Thank you, Jan. Jan loves it. Let's see if we can get 350 tonight. Like, it's crazy that it's already been another week. I know, they just fly they by. They fly by. And I feel like as the weather starts to get warmer and nicer out, which we're still waiting for. Um, next week, hopefully. Next week, hopefully. But as that happens, I feel like time's just going to fly by and it's going to be fall again. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Love it. Thank you, Teresa. 
So don't forget that both Vodabra as well as Nick's Seasonal Decor have groups. You can join the Vodabra Fan Gallery and the Nick's Seasonal Decor Crafting Community for more inspiration. Fluff it open. And what I've been loving to do lately, and I don't know if you've noticed, Al, but what I do is I take these tails and I kind of just bend them a little bit. Have you noticed that, you guys? A little crinkle. little crinkle, and I think it just creates a more um, relaxed design. You know, typically the design styles that I create are very rigid in the sense that everything is meticulous and fluffed perfectly. And I've been loving this organic look lately. So there is a funky bow. What do you think? Okay, so that is the second bow technique using that same ribbon. And as you see, look, two completely different styles using the same ribbon. So I love to teach you guys how to use the same products over and over again in completely different st techniques or combinations. So this ribbon, you guys have seen a whole lot, and that's because I think it's so versatile, you can use it for every holiday and season. So we're going to start with another length of our wire. Hey, Jean, nice to see you. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll take our wire, place it in the middle. Then what we'll do is we'll come back in with two tails. We'll cut one length of the black and white. Place it in. Doesn't have to be even. And then we're going to pair it up with this white ribbon. So this is a white satin, more specifically a wired white satin. Cut another length, place it inside, and come back in with your black and white. So we're gonna do two of these loops on either side. Hey Lee, nice to see you. So two loops on either side. Love black and white, me too. It looks great on anything. Actually, let's try a completely different technique. Let's do a total of five loops. So three on one side and two on the other. Let's try that out. So that's two on each. Now we'll come back in with just one more. Cut your ribbon off, work it into your bodabra. Always leave yourself a little bit of an overhang so that you don't pull that ribbon out when you go to fluff. Then we can come back in with our white shear and let's just do three loops of this. So one, notice that it's smaller than the outside, so we're keeping this a little bit shorter so that we can see that depth. That's two. That's three. And that's it. Let's try something else. Let's come back in with one more piece of that black and white. So that white satin ribbon I think is perfect for um, just weddings, right? Isn't that yeah. a pretty wedding ribbon? I love satin. So we're going to take this and we're just going to cut a little length of it. Pinch it up. So this is going to be our button loop in the middle. You could even do smaller if you really wanted to. Then we'll take that, place it into our bodabra. Hey Nelda, nice to see you. Lots of members in the wreath community in the comments tonight. I'll see you guys in a half hour. <laughs> And we have something cool up our sleeve tonight. So take those wires. Oop, I forgot to tighten it at the same time. That's fine, because it's secured somewhat. So then we can take those wires and tie them off. So two or three knots to really keep it in place, because we don't want this to fall apart. All right, so that's how the bow looks. And sometimes people just leave it like that. And I'd say not to do that. So I see over 350 of you guys now. Thank you all for tuning in. So to fluff, all we're going to do is just separate those loops. We have five on the outside that will just somewhat evenly space to the best of our ability. I'm not perfect, and neither are you, right? And neither are our bows. Open up our button. This looks pretty with the pop of white. Right, with that little pop of white. Pull your tails down. And there we have it. What do you think? Almost 390 of you. Let's see if we can hit 400. So pull apart those loops. 
And there we go. Could use a little bit more fluffing, but I don't want to take you guys away from making a lot of bows. I know lots of you guys like to see bow, bow, bows. So that is that bow. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Gil. Love it. Let's come back in with our mini. So with the mini, if you're trying to create a full-size bow, what I recommend you do is I recommend you use a thinner ribbon. So not necessarily the gauge of the wire, but more so the thickness of the actual fabric. So for instance, canvas and burlap ribbons can be a little bit thick for the mini, especially if you're trying to do a lot of loops. So for instance, this ribbon, see how it's a little bit thicker and it feels more like a shirt or Alex, actually my sweatshirt that Alex is wearing feels like that. Um, a little bit thick to create a large bow. So let's see what we can do with this ribbon. So what we'll do is let's just create a present bow. So for the present bow, we're going to just work in as many loops as possible. So don't forget, Bodabra is giving away a free roll of ribbon, and all you have to do is just let us know you'd like to win. So that's two. Let's see how many we can do. I'm figuring we'll have to stop at six on each side. How about you, Al? That's a good you number. can't just go off of what I'm saying. What do you think? Actually, six? 12 total? Yeah, 12 total. We're okay. at two. Can we do it? We're at four now. Let's see, you guys. There's five. There's six. We're about halfway there. I'm really having to squish. I think we can do it, though. There's seven. There's eight and nine. Let's see. Hey, Susan, nice to see you. Eva's from Kentucky. We went to Kentucky when we were kids or drove through Kentucky. I don't think we drove through Kentucky. Yeah, because that's where um, the Cabbage Patch Kids place was, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think. We tried to go, but I remember we, there was really bad weather. There was a tornado we, yeah, happening. Yeah, we really, <laughs> and we had to get out of there. And us Massachusetts folks, <laughs> we're not used to tornadoes at all. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We did it. We could fit more. Let's see. There's seven. And I'm comfortable stopping at seven. So seven loops each. Could have actually worked in your tails beforehand and it would have fit. Betty would love to win. Hey, Kyle from Oklahoma City. Oop, I heard Alex say oop, and I'm no, looking at no, the phone. But we, fi we fixed it anyway, without even me looking. <laughs> that was funny. So we're going to take those wires, pull them from behind. I heard Alex make a noise, you guys, and I was like, what is she, what? I didn't know if I should say anything. <laughs> he wasn't even looking, but we fixed it. Subconsciously, we fixed it. So let's fluff these loops out. So we did seven on each side. So that should create a really full bow. No tails on this, but tails aren't always necessary. Really depends on what you're trying to create. So pull those loops. Most important step is fluffing. And all of these loops are different sizes. You know, this one right here, look at how much longer than the others that is. And it still looks even and fine. So don't get too caught up in measurements. That's my biggest tip. That and fluffing. And look at that. What do you think? So cute. Did I place an order the other day? I believe so, Betty. Look at that. So you can use your mini for hair bows. I mean, I have heard the the bigger the bow, the closer to Jesus is what I've been told <laughs> from some of my southern friends. So I don't know if that's true. I don't feel like we don't see many little girls around us or, you know, in our communities have big hair bows. Right. Yeah, not um, really. But they're very popular down south. So how does that when look? I was a cheerleader. You Remember did. Big but not that big. Not that big. <laughs> That'd be kind of cute. Right. Cheerleaders. So we got those. Thank you, Betty. Love the green and white me as well. That's a perfect spring, summer, lemonade wreath, um, ladybug wreath. I like this ribbon. So now let's come back in and do, hmm, well, I want to make our wreath. So let's cut, let's make another bow. Well, we could use the black and white, but for the colors today, I think the white, solid white is going to look the best. So we're going to take a length of our wire 
cut it a little bit longer than you anticipate. I know I hate being wasteful as well, but I feel like there's nothing that causes me to get more mad than when I'm trying to place the wire around the grapevine and I'm just, just shy of getting it to the other side. So I'd rather not deal with that and I'd rather just waste a little bit. So we're gonna take our tails, I just cut them about, hey Lisa, nice to see you, about 20 inches. Do you sell these? So I do not sell my bows, we just give them away uh, to our customers and hopefully we'll be able to carry the Bodabra products at nickseasonaldecor.com. But at the moment, you can order them through our link down below. So we're gonna do a very simple traditional bow because we're gonna work in some dollar store flowers. So let's do, let's do four loops on either side, maybe five on one side. We'll spice it up. So that's two. That's three. That's four. That's four. Let's come back in with one more. Just gotta untangle my ribbon. Cut off our final tail, or our final loop. So we got four on one side, five on the other. Take your wires, pull them to the middle, and tie off. So take it out of your bodabra and tie from behind. It's as simple as that, you guys. The more complicated you make bow making, the more you'll stress yourself out. So don't even wor uh, worry about it. You've got it. Oh, we could have used this one too. Should we use this one? That's pretty for those. For, so for the wreath with those flowers. What do you guys think? Let me know. Should we do the white one? We haven't fluffed it yet. Or should we try a wreath without any tails? Use the green one and come back in with these flowers. I think the green would be kind of fun, right? Be fun. Let's see, what are you guys saying? More vibrant. More vibrant, more springy. Use the pink burlap, that would be very pretty. We could, but the pink is very off from these. That doesn't look nice to me. What do you think, Al? Yeah, those are more This like is a fuchsia. Oh, go ahead. I know, I, po I pointed in the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is more of a fuchsia, the ribbon, and this is definitely not a fuchsia. This is like a, like a Barbie doll pink. Yeah. So. Green one, Dolores loves the green, Christy loves the green, Jane loves the green, Barbara likes the white. All right, any votes for the pink before we do it? We're gonna start working in the green, but we'll see what you guys say. So here we have our 14 inch grapevine. These are out of stock. Um, I believe so, right Al? Yes. And hopefully we'll have some more really soon. And we're gonna take those wires and pull them to the middle. So I cut this wire a little bit short. So we just have enough to tie it, but if I had it any shorter, I'd be mad, wouldn't I, Al? <laughs> so you wanna make sure you cut it long enough. Ah, uh, that bow's gonna look pretty cool. I don't think we've ever done one without tails, in the wreath at least. So that is that, you love the green, stick with the green, you got it. Now what we can do is come back in with our flowers. So we'll just take some of these, Snip them off. We'll start with one, we'll start with two bushes. This is a pretty pink. See how that pink is very vibrant? This is like a neon pink. The greenery matches the bow though. It, it does, yeah. Green. So we'll snip two of those off. Love the green the best. Yeah, I think the green's gonna look nice. So by a show of hands, you guys, how many of you have I introduced to the Bodabra? I know we have a lot of our followers watching right now, so I would love to hear if I've sent Bodabra your way. It'd be kind of a nice poll to see. We're gonna take more of them and we're gonna make sure to place them up top. See how we're sticking those out a good distance? I think that's gonna be perfect. Maybe we'll add a, a, a little bow down below too. What do you think of that idea, Al? That'd be cute. I love the double bow look. I do like the double bow look too. We'll see how we do with this. We'll see how it's looking. Hey, Linda. Nice to see you. Another piece here. 
And the thing about bows that bothers me the most is no matter how much you fluff it, you can walk away and be very pleased with it. And then the next day, you'll see little things to tweak, right? So I love Christmas trees and I love Christmas, but when it comes to my Christmas tree, I can't walk by it without fluffing something, right, Al? Yeah. doesn't matter if anybody's touched it or nothing's changed. I still have to fluff. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy, um, but that's what we seem to do. Maybe they, maybe my family, you guys, maybe they do it on purpose. I want a little shorter one. Maybe they brush by the tree. I feel like that's something Alex would do. Most certainly it's something Alex would do. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> All right, so maybe one more piece on the sides. I love my Bodabra. Awesome, Diana. Work it in. Yes, I've learned to use a Bodabra from you. Thank you for that feedback. I appreciate it more than you know. Okay, so that is that. But I think we should, since we have just a two minutes left oh that looks very pretty doesn't that look kind of unique with just that big bow yeah i love it maybe really pretty how are we doing on time we got three minutes left let's come back in with our large and do a very simple similar style bow so that large bow we made using the mini and now our mini bow we're using our large <laughs> funny right so we'll take that what do I do with my green ribbon? Here we go. Place it in. One loop. Two loops. Let's do five loops total. And that one had 14, the big one, right? 14, that's right. Seven loops on either side. The loops are about four and a half, five inches. So let's do exactly half, right? So seven. So that's three, five, six, and seven. Snip it off. Uh-oh, there we go. So our winner is going to be announced. Our winner is Nancy. Congratulations, Nancy. You just won, Nancy Lambert of Alabama just won herself a free roll of ribbon. So don't forget, every Monday that I'm live, Bodaver gives away a free roll. And all you have to do is just let us know that you're here. And then at the end, you could be the lucky winner. We've had plenty of winners win that have never won a thing in their lives. So it's really nice to see, you know, you guys get some free ribbon. Congratulations, Nancy. So we're going to take our mini bow using our large, goes to show, and tie it in the lower right. Tie it really tight. And how many knots do I do at least, Al? Three or four. Yes, at least three. See, if you did one and it fall and it fails, that's on you. If you do two and it fails, well, it's still on you because you only <laughs> left yourself with one knot as a safety net. And if you do three and it fails, that was God's, God's doing. So three is the magic number with knots. All right, so then we have one more bush of these flowers. Let's work them in real, real quick, short and sweet. And then... We'll see how this wreath turns out. So I don't want these pieces to be as long, right? We want it to be a little bit smaller. So we'll take some of these flowers and just poke them in. So our grapevines, even though we're out of stock, when we restock, we should be able to keep the price at $5.75 for, a, that's right, right? For a 14 inch grapevine. So these are the perfect size for, you know, smaller wreaths, presents. You can make a wreath for friends and family and not break the bank. And it doesn't take much product at all to turn them into something beautiful. So let's work in that a little bit deeper. And then we have one flower left, which I'm going to trim up a little bit. And actually take this little flower that fell off and poke it in. Take this one, place it up here. And then we got four leaves left. Let's take those leaves and work them. There's two, there's three, and our final leaf. Oh, we have one more, one more leaf. I, I, I lied, you guys, <laughs> I just saw it. So I'll take that leaf, and I don't like to waste anything. And 330 of you guys still watching, thank you for sticking with us. And there's just a simple wreath. 
Totally. So we use three dollars worth of, or three seventy-five worth of uh, dollar store flowers, some Sam's Club ribbon, and one of our grapevines, and that's what you're able to create in what ten minutes, not even. So thank you all so very much for watching. I will have big, uh, all of these bows uh, with pictures. I'll send them over to Bodabra, and you'll see them on their social media handles. So once again, if you enjoy watching me on Bodabra, drop a comment down below. I appreciate um, having you guys with me, and I appreciate you know all of you taking your time to. You know, watch my videos. So if you've enjoyed it and if you've learned something, definitely let me know. That's kind of fun, right? So, so let's see. Looks good. Hey, Pam. That's a great price and great finds. Thank you, Lynn. So you can find the products down below, and I will see you all next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Joe. Um, and thank you, Dory, in the comments section. I appreciate you guys helping out, and I'll see you all next week. Bye, everyone. Good night, everyone.